Okay, let's have a look at some more of Midivolve. Here's our riff. Just put the kick on. Because I want to show you the swing function. Okay, that's zero swing. And that's an extreme swing. I usually have it a little bit of swing. Let's put it to zero for the moment. If you look at the clock thing, this is the basic clock frequency, so I can halve that for instance. Clock divide, or indeed clock multiply, or more interesting ones like a third. Also having it super slow is quite good sometimes, that way you can get longer notes. Midivolve only has half a bar maximum note length, but with this you can work around that limitation. Now this is the Euclidean clock feature, different from the Euclidean fill feature. This one also says fill, which is a bit confusing, but it's operating on the clock. And what it's doing is pausing the clock on certain of the steps, depending on the clock fill. So if clock fill set to 14, then on two of those steps, the clock will momentarily pause. If you set it to 12, then you get a kind of three, four feel. And other settings give interesting alternative rhythmic possibilities as well. So quite a powerful tool, the Euclidean clock. This sync button controls the behavior when you stop live. If sync's on, it restarts from the beginning when you restart. If it's off, it picks up from where you were in the sequence, which can be useful. Reverse does what it says on the tin. And then these nudge sequence buttons, backwards and forwards. Sometimes you've got a sequence where you want to move the feel of where the one drops, so you can nudge the whole sequence backwards and forwards. One, two, three, four, one. Nudging the whole sequence. Then this doubles the length of the sequence. Sometimes it's good to have a simple sequence to start off with, like a one by one, and then double the length. And then by various means, get some slight variation in one half. Similarly, this one will halve the sequence, but unless you've doubled it, you can't halve it. So if I take it back with the half button, I can't halve it again because it was originally a one bar loop, so I can't halve that to a half bar loop. Uh, let's look at the properties of the notes. So the fundamental one, the pitch, I can move notes around. I can draw extra notes in. Each note has a velocity. I can edit and the duration, its length, say so maximum half a bar. If I turn release up a bit more, you can hear the longer notes. The maps will come to in the next tutorial, they're like CC controller information. This is Midi Vol from Cold Cut. This is Matt Black saying thanks for watching.